if you are updating from Angular 9 to Angular 10, and your Angular 9 uses Angular Material, along with Material Component Development Kit, or CDK, if after running the update, ng-update command, and you get this warning in the terminal about the CDK and material version not being able to get updated because of TSLib, one quick solution to this is to manually install the latest version of CDK and material. And uh, this is the latest version here, 10.1.2, 10.1.2. And if we look at the warning that I showed you earlier, it was complaining about 9.2.4, okay, which was the previous version which wasn't able to get updated because of TSLib. So one option to quickly get this fixed is to, in your terminal, run npm install dot save these two packages with the at latest on the attack on long on the end. And if you look at the uh, package.json file. Here, let me show you. Let me go over and show you here. Let me blow this up. You see that the ng update was not able to update Angular material um, here and here. Okay, so we are going to rectify that by running this command here. And it's npmi save because it's, it's the dependency, not dev de dependency. If it was a dev de dependency, that would add the dash d flag, dash capital D, d as in delta. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and install that. Okay, all right, now let's look at the package.json file. As you can see here, it updated, okay? So now we're good. Now let's go ahead and do a compilation here to make sure we're all good. Okay, the build was successful. No warning in the console. Okay, so once again, that's your command there. And this will apply to any NPM package that you have to install manually. What this command does essentially uninstall the previous version and then install the latest version for you. Uh, just one thing to keep in mind is that you want you have to be sure that you actually want the latest version. Uh, otherwise, you have to specifically state after the at symbol what version you want. Okay, good luck. Thanks for watching.